have it, foundation repair. It's got a bar coming across here and two thick 2x4s on the bottom. That's all attached to a chain which is bolted into the ground there. And here we have another thick 2x4 to spread out the tension and we're jacking the uh, foundation wall back in towards the floor. So here we are. Here we are. Cranking on this here. Put both weight in. I've almost been hospitalized by a jack all before. Oh, look at that. Beautiful coming right together. Keep cranking. So when we're pulling this wall in, it used to be about three inches away. Now we got about three quarters of an inch to an inch, and the wall is sitting quite plumb now. So how we pulled it was we drilled a bolt into the floor, and we attached a big rod on the outside of it. In this case was the perfect place to attach because it caught both sides of that foundation. And then we used that come along to pull it in. We did that in three areas along the wall with different, uh, each one had a come along on it. And it was able to pull that wall back to, to correct, uh, as near as possible to correct anyway. Yeah, and then we attached these flat bars in it. Flat bars are a little off the floor because I'm thinking the wall will settle once we've tipped it up. Uh, it's, a, it's on a little different type of footing and I think the wall will settle along the, to the corner and possibly go back down a bit. But that'll hold it in anyway. So here we are, we've uh, got all our straps on and we're filling that void now with uh, some loose we fill concrete, um, pre-mixed concrete, and it'll just, I think we're just going to leave it dry in there. And if any moisture comes, it'll set up by itself. Other than that, it'll just hold the, the wall from breaking out the, um, the floor, the bolt on the floor, from breaking that out. And also from breaking out the bolt out of the, the top of the grade beam. So we're looking at the corner crack on this back of the shed here. It drew in within a, between an eighth and a quarter. And we've got some bolts in there holding the corner together, epoxied them in. And now I just patched the crack. That, this end coming in perfect. We filled the, the little one inch space between the, the slab and the floor with concrete, uh, dry concrete which will allow the uh, building to shift a little more if it wants to. Hopefully it'll settle a little bit. That uh, foundation can settle down where it tipped up again. Same along here. We've got that all fixed up there. Patch the corner out here. This corner didn't come in quite so much as the other, but it's still about uh, three inches better than it was. So I patched that up. And that's all better now, much better than it was anyway. You can see the bottom of the footing here, how it's raised up everywhere, and it should settle down onto the inside of the footing as time goes on. The old guys always told me to just take these things real slow. And I think they were right. When you're shifting a building, it needs time to settle in.